In today's video we're talking about Etihad Airways and some of the recent changes that took place maybe in the past couple of years and some of the things that let's say improved within the airline just after COVID ended. As you guys know, both Emirates and Etihad Airlines, they're great airlines to work for. They're generally seen by the international cabin crew wannabe community as great options to fly for and great options to apply for, to become an employee for those uh, companies. And in today's video, we're going to discuss a few additional things, why you should apply for Etihad Airways and some of the benefits nowadays that uh, had happened. One of the most recent updates is that now you are allowed to wear a smartwatch in flight as part of your your cabin crew uniform. So smartwatches are now allowed. You can track your steps while in flight. You can uh, you can see your fitness levels, right, uh, from your smartwatch, and it's now been allowed. The cabin crew basically asked for it, and the airline allowed it eventually. And this is a very new thing because it used to be only classic watches, and uh, the dial has to be silver, blue or a, a black, it needs a metallic bracelet or leather bracelet. So all of those small little things, they're also controlled. The dial had to be a certain diameter. You cannot have oversized watches and so on and so forth. And now this change came in. All right, one more recent change was the cabin crew meals. You can now pre-order your meal if you are vegan or you are gluten-free or whatever. You can actually order a crew meal on board for that uh, within the airline. It's still being tested. In, it's in a test phase. We don't know if it's going to be forever, but uh, they implemented this recently. I had it on one of my flights. Uh, I had to complete a survey for the return sector and then on the return sector they give me specifically what I ask for, like a high protein meal for example. I ask for a high protein meal, they offered it on board. So that's your crew meal and um, it's a pretty interesting change. For me it doesn't matter much because we have a lot of food on board generally speaking, but uh, nevertheless it's a welcome change. Um, one of the recent changes as well in Etihad is new accommodations. There's like three new big buildings that are accommodating a lot of crew. Both new joiners and older cabin crew within the airline are a part of those accommodations already. So if you are joining Etihad Airways nowadays, you will have probably a new building, um, a nice space to be in, everything included, and you know it's quite a cool, it's quite a cool thing because when I arrived in Etihad Airways, we used to have a few older buildings that were a bit weird and damp and moldy, whatever. But now, basically, all the all the cabin crew accommodations are new. I think all the cabin crew accommodations, the oldest one is from 2015, the building itself. So you will have a new building to reside in. That's for sure. And many of them, they have uh, high floors and you'll be probably at uh, 15th floor with a nice view. And that's a pretty cool thing, you know, it's a pretty cool thing. Once you get on board this airline, you will, uh, you will experience, right? A new recent change, not really recent, but this was from two years ago. Many of you are still asking me in the, in the comment section down below, ladies and gents, you're asking me about the beards. The beards. Yes, Etihad is the only Middle Eastern airline that can rock a beard on board. It just has to be properly trimmed, not too long, not too short that you have just a nibble, right? But it has to be a proper Arabic looking beard, let's say, right? Me, I cannot grow a fully beard, so I usually just shave. So both styles are appreciated in Etihad for males, beards and a shaved clean look. It's up to the individual to decide which one of those you will um, you will have on board. So yes, beards are allowed and you can also apply for Etihad. You can go for the assessment days with a beard. Although I would say, personally speaking, I think it's better to be clean shaven just to, you know, to have a cleaner look during those interviews. Sometimes beards can make you look older and stuff, so you don't want that either. Another a recent change, at least post-COVID, it's a lot of fast promotions. Nowadays, you can promote uh, from um, economy class to business class maybe in one year, uh, one year to one year and a half. 
and as well you can apply to become a senior in maybe two or three years afterwards so it's going really well it's going really fast i would say it's not as it used to be. We used to sit a lot, like some of my colleagues back in the day, they spent seven years in economy because of other circumstances back then influencing the airline. Like we had some coast cutting period of time and then we had and then we had COVID. It was a lot of empty space without promotions, without new people coming into the airline. But nowadays, because there's so many people getting hired, there's so many new cabin crew then of course you will have fast promotions, right? You can promote through the ranks of the airline very fast and that's a welcome change. That's a very good thing. It's also motivating uh, people to stay more and to work hard towards their goals within the airline, which is again, a good thing. Another one of the changes that came kind of with COVID was the bus routes. So, the pickup and drop off bus routes of Etihad from your accommodation to the airport, those have been streamlined since COVID. It used to be that, that you had to call buses and program buses sometimes and you had to uh, be downstairs one hour before and you had and the buses were late all the time and they didn't have a normal schedule. They were just booked for the flight itself but then they will be late sometimes. So it was a mess. When I came into the airline uh, earlier on, before 2020, it was a mess with the buses. They were overly full. They were old as well. And um, they used to pick up three accommodations before going to the airport. Nowadays, it's fixed schedule, right? Fixed schedule. Every half an hour, you have a bus or every 20 minutes, you have a bus depending on your accommodation. That's very, very good because, you, you know, you have your schedule and you know when to go for your bus towards the airport. It's a very, very welcome change. And cabin crew that are coming nowadays into the company, they don't know the struggles that we had with the buses before uh, the COVID period of time. It's not really recent anymore, but nevertheless, a very welcome change. Now, another thing would be better medical care, especially dental. Nowadays, you can go outside of the Etihad premises to a doctor of your choice and get the treatment that you want anywhere in Abu Dhabi and even Dubai in some clinics. And that is paid for, that's covered by insurance. And of course, anything aesthetic that is not covered by insurance, but ev anything that has to do with uh, teeth health, root canals and fillings and all of that stuff that is covered. And you don't have to go to Etihad Medical Center anymore to do them. Uh, you can go to any place nowadays. Another change that maybe was two years ago is about pets. You can have pets in accommodation, namely cats. You can have a cat if your flatmate agrees with it. So you have to talk with your flatmate, you have to agree, okay, we'll have a cat. And then you can declare that you have a cat in your accommodation and that's it. It's a pet friendly accommodation right now. So <laughs> this is the way it goes. Um, quite a lot of crew... Uh, they have some cats. For me personally, I would never have a cat here because I feel like it's a big responsibility. I don't have the time to take care of it. And imagine you're going for a three-day layover somewhere. You go to freaking St. Petersburg, three-day layover, four-day layover, and then the cat is by itself alone and you have to call other cabin crew. Hey, can you just visit my cat to just pet it a bit and you know offer some food and water? Maybe change the sandbox or something. It's just too much of a hassle for me it's not really worth it I like the cat to be also in an open space like back home in Romania we have a house a big house and we have a lawn and the cat can go everywhere right but here in an apartment I, I just don't see it I, it's not my thing to have a cat um, in this environment yeah also one of the issues is many uh, people they leave UAE and then when they leave they just throw the cat on the street that's a very 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 bad thing I, I completely disagree with that if you take responsibility for a cat you have to take it all the way you going back to your home country take the cat with you it costs a lot of money to book the cat a flight ticket but that's the way you choose that's the way you do it you have to do it all the way anyways another thing that Etihad does right is oftentimes they do this company events like 
let's say it's Christmas, they would do a Christmas dinner or they would do iftar dinners. It's a company event, so all the crew are welcome. You have to apply through a survey and then you go for it. It's free. You just meet and socialize with other cabin crew, with management, with everybody there. Everybody will be there and, you know, you eat basically. It's it's paid for by the company and it's just a company event to bring people together, I guess. So yeah, that's a good thing. The Etihad started doing that, I believe, even before COVID came along. A recent thing that we had is bonuses. So Etihad offered some uh, bonus money that came extra with your salary. It was a bonus performance recently. And before of that, it was a bonus that's a yearly kind of profit bonus. I don't know how to call it. And they were both quite equal in value. Let's say half of your salary as a cabin crew. So you have some extra money to spend, um, which is a good thing. If your performance was exceeding, you may even get more money on that allowance. So that's a good, that's a good recent change. Internal social media. We have something called internal social media in Etihad. It's basically a place where you can go and talk about things. If something happened on the flight, if some things need improvement in the way the service is conducted or the safety standards or anything that needs improvement, you can raise your concerns through the social media channel. You can basically complain to the airline and then the airline may listen to your uh, needs and may do actually do some changes, which oftentimes it happens. So cabin crew, they're talking about a subject that needs improvement within the airline and the airline will eventually change that because it makes more sense. We are the soldiers of the airline on the front. We're battling with different things every day and we know how things are and how things run. So they need our inputs when it comes to improvement of service delivery, let's say. If it makes more sense, they will do it. So that's a good thing because it's important to listen to your employees every now and then. It's important to have a conversation between employer and employee. Now, those were some of the recent things that uh, Etihad implemented and Etihad does. Uh, please let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what do you think about this topic, this video and those kind of improvements? It's much appreciated when you have a lifestyle change of any sort, a lifestyle improvement of any sort, right? So, uh, yeah. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not subscribed yet. Until next time, bye-bye.